Welcome to the, this is the fourth tutorial on using Google Drawings to create infographics and in our last tutorials we work with images and um, we made this cool circle version so you might want to check that out if you haven't already. In this one we're going to insert a graph. So we're going to go up and, or a chart. Insert a chart and I'm going to do a pie chart. You have bar, line, graph and it automatically inserts the chart and it did the research for the kids if you can look closely. All the data is already in the charts. They don't have to do anything. So uh, Google's done everything for them. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, we're going to add our own data to the pie chart. So, um, or they could do the graph. But we're going to, right from here, we can open this within Sheets and do some customizations to it. So um, I'm going to call this, instead of uh, the teams here, I'm going to do a pie chart on my dream summer day. So my dream perfect summer day would be uh, uh, sleeping for eight hours. Beautiful. The next is, you know, I love, so first thing I do when I get up is reading. And I'd love to just be able to do that. Reading and drinking coffee simultaneously for a couple hours at least. And you notice as I add these, it's changing my graph. Um, and then just, you know, family time. Just hang with the family. Go. Let's just do that six hours. So um, then I also really into swimming, and I want to get a want to get a couple hours a day of swimming. Now I don't really like doing chores or anything. My big thing I like to do is goofing off. Oops, googling off, <laughs> goofing off. So the rest of the time it'd be like I don't know, just. And I'm going to do that for about six hours. We got, there we go. There's my beautiful day. And that would be like, that would be like a cool, cool day. So um, if you notice it added the goofing off over here. It converted the, the, my day into percents. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and edit this graph a little bit more. I'm going to do some stuff with the colors. Um, so I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to click this little drop down right up here. And I'm going to go to the advanced edit feature. We are advanced now. So, so instead of points uh, scored, um, typical day, um, dream, Eric's dream summer day. Dream on, Eric, in hours. Okay? Um, so I have it in hours. That's other stuff I can uh, customize here. So I can make the title bold and change the color of the title. There we go. I'll well, make it a little darker than that. Make it purple. Um, I could put the legend on the left or the right. I kind of like the right. Um, I can make the legend text a little bit bigger. Might want to do that. And bold. Um, Let's see here. I think I can change the font. Sometimes it doesn't work for me. <sighs> okay. And I'm going to change the background. Here's my background now. New background. And make it 3D. So it's looking pretty cool. It's kind of off my screen. I can't bring it up. But there's a update button in the bottom left-hand corner. And I'm going to have to make this full screen. And you might not be able to see it. But there's an update button. I'm going to update it. Things kind of went off the screen for you a little bit, but here's my new graph. Uh, looks pretty cool. Now I can go back to Google, um, my Google Draw, and I have a little update button here. It's going to communicate with Google Sheets and change my graph. There it is. So it has even has the goofing off. I made it. I guess the right color for the background. So uh, now what I can do is I can crop it. Bring this in a little bit. Hit enter, it can make it a little bit larger. And there. So there we go. My summer dog, maybe send it order. Send it to the back. So that's kind of going over it. So beautiful. There I just added a graph. And um, the reason why the number's not showing up on the red is that I need just would need to make it bigger. So um, so there's adding a graph um, to your Google. Um, with uh, Google uh, Drawing. Another thing you can do if you just have a really simple, um, simple, simple kind of 
pie chart that you want to show. If you want to show like three quarters, you can use this one here. I know a lot of people use this. And then what they do is they just kind of, uh, you're kind of guessing. But if you want to like three quarters, you can make this. Like if something was just, you know, it's a little less than half, um, you can use this to custom design, uh, to display something. Once again, this is in uh, your shapes. And you have this little pie graph, little chart um, that you can work with. And if you just want to show, like, if you had pretty, kind of hard, you'd have to kind of guess the numbers. But if you just wanted to show a percent of people of uh, times people spend, you know, sitting on the couch during the summer or something crazy like that, uh, you could use that. And there we go. We can all kinds of customization. So my infographics looking better and better, adding more and more stuff. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll show you how to publish it, how to use this and download it in different formats.